Hello. I got something else to show you. This is our new sliders. Instead of putting a cabinet in this section that I was going to make so it was removable so I could get to my propane tank around the corner here, we decided to put in sliders. But that created a whole new problem. How are we going to do the sliders? And what are we going to use for sliding tracks? So walking around one of the big box stores, we happened to see this material on somebody's cart that was sitting in the middle of the aisle kind of looked abandoned. And what this is, is this is actually trim for plastic lattice. So I cut a base for both the top and bottom out of a half inch sheet of plywood and I'm going to mount the track to that. And when I get it done, then I will screw this half inch sheet of plywood into the van. I'm going to take this track and we're going to lay three of them and screw them down and counter strength the screws. We're going to do the same thing with the track that's going to go on the top. The track that's on the bottom should be about half the height as the track that's on the top. The track that's on the top has to be deeper so that you can put the panels up in the top and then drop them down into the bottom. So the bottom has to be about half the height so that you can make that. Then these panels will sit inside the track and simply slide back and forth. And there'll be three panels, each on their own individual track. That way all three panels can go all the way to one side and be behind each other, opening up this entire area or opening up this entire area or, of course, opening up both sides. So that will be really convenient and one of the things that's nice about this lattice trim is that it's thick enough that there'll be a great distance between each one of the panels so that when we're driving down the road those panels aren't hitting against each other creating any noise. If there is a rattle I've already thought that I might put a little liner of felt inside this track if that's necessary to stop any type of noise. But this is all a grand experiment just like everything in life and we'll see what happens and then we'll adapt as we go. To mount this track which again is lattice trim I'm using stainless steel screws. These are half inch number eight stainless steel screws. To do so, I need to countersink each one of these. They're flathead, so I won't have to countersink very much. To do that, I put a drill stop on the drill bit because this plastic will pull this drill right through and you'll be right you'll be on the other side. So I actually in looking around for the right size drill stop. I've been using quite a few of these and on some of the drill bits I don't want to take it off because it's set up just right. So I ran out of this size but off the Craig jig and the Craig drill bit temporarily I just took it off of this one and put it on this drill bit. I'm going to drill three holes in each length and the length of these for where it's going to slide in the van 
Each one of these is 52 inches long. And I'm using a number eight half inch stainless steel screw to mount them to the piece of wood, which will then be mounted where it needs to go for the drawer slot. So just want to give you all the info on how I'm doing it in case you want to replicate what I'm doing. When you're attaching this trim to the piece of plywood, you're going to want the screw to go all the way through the trim piece and screw itself down to the piece of plywood. So you want a drill bit that's going to go all the way through and allow this screw to pass. For that, the size you need is 11 64ths. 11 64ths for a number eight half inch long screw. You could also use 3 8 that's a much more common size. You can hear it, we got some Florida rain going on out there. Yep, that was a sudden downpour. It went from being completely dry to raining like that in less than 30 seconds. But we're not going to let the rain stop us. We're going to keep working. That's why you got to do things when the weather's nice and have things to do when the weather isn't. See, did I get those in there far enough? Yep. Woo. Yeah. I just finished them and it looks like they worked out pretty well. There are three tracks and each track has a board so I can gain access to the center area. I can close it all the way off or I can get access to either side. Now the only thing that I would change right now is the width because if I slide them over and get access to the center it's pretty narrow so I will probably make these a little bit narrower they'll still cover the full thing but right now there's a great deal of overlap but other than that it worked really well now how did we do this this plastic that I use for the track is actually lattice trim we were looking for some track and I was buying some aluminum channel and we were walking through Lowe's and we looked down and we saw a piece of this sitting on somebody's cart and it was perfect so we bought a piece and then we went back and we bought five more pieces and so far it's worked out really well now I'll pull these panels out to pull the panels out all you do is lift them up tip them out. I'll pull them out so I can show you a little bit better. On how we did this. Let's take a look at the bottom track. Now the bottom track has to be half the height of the top track. 
because the panel has to go up into the top track and then drop down into the bottom track. If they were the same height, you wouldn't be able to get the panel into the bottom. It would be too large. So you have to cut these halfway down. The last wall on the one furthest into the garage, I left full height so that when I put the panel in, it just knocks up against that and drops right down. So it just doesn't, the panel just doesn't pass through. Makes it real easy to put that panel in and get that first one sliding. The next one, you just put up against the first one and it drops in and the third one. Now you might notice that this track on the bottom goes full length, it's 52 inches. The top, each side's a little bit short. The reason for that is this was an eight foot piece. After I put these in here, these were a little bit short. But there was no reason for me to use the rest of the lattice that we bought. So I basically got three extra pieces I can bring back to the store because these don't have to be full length because that panel is long enough that it stays within the track. To make it easy, I cut about a three inch wide piece of plywood and attach the track to that and that'll allow me to position this and move it around and get it perfect alignment with the top track and then screw it down. This lattice track works really well. It's also thick enough that it keeps the panels far enough away from each other that they won't rattle into each other while we're driving down the road. And the tracks themselves are wide enough that if there is any noise I have room where I could actually put some felt inside the track to quiet them down. That's just in case they might rattle and make some noise. I expect to put magnets on them so that they'll click in their closed position, one being to the left, one being to the right, and one in the center. That'll help keep the rattling to a minimum. But I don't even know if that's going to be a problem yet. But we'll see. This is all another grand experiment. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Please comment. Maybe you think this is a crazy idea. Maybe you think it's a good idea. Maybe you've done something that you can help me out and make this a little bit better. See you next time.